I can understand that the education system attracts a lot of people with those characteristics because um, it's a system that very much feeds on on people and uh, it's very very difficult to get promotion and get forward and get higher positions in education because there's usually a lot of people who want only um, one position and uh, it's very much a, a pyramid system within pyramids and um, it's very hard to get anywhere in that kind of environment. Um, hmm. There's something that exists called victim mentality. And victim mentality is when a person allows themselves to be provoked or angered by the actions of others. I think the truth is in a lot of situations, when we're in control, we can choose how we feel. When we're in control, we can choose how we feel. Like we can, I can, I can have a, I can have my coffee here, and I can drop the cup, and it can smash into pieces on the floor, and I can go, "Oh my God, this is the worst thing ever!" <laughs> or I can say, "Oh well, you know, accidents happen." There we go. I should be more careful. There you go. That's life. So it can be a, it can be a mat. The same event can be. A massive disaster on one side or a learning experience on the other side is suppression and pressure um, very often leads to emotional depression which then later leads to an explosion of emotions because everything is, is kept inside and this connects with with something you said earlier when you talked about being provoked by the students. Um, a lot of students are sharks. And what I mean by this is that they're looking for food. They're looking for food. And in all cultures and all societies, we find people with these negative personal characteristics. They're looking for somebody to feed on. They're looking for some kind of conflict. They're smelling for the blood of some kind of problem. And um, naturally, the fish that think they're bigger try to feed on the fish that they think are, are smaller. And one of the ways that the, the sharks feed on the people around about them is that they carefully select their victim. They carefully select who it is that they're going to be aggressive towards. They carefully select the time and the place of the conflict. So they search specifically for teachers with not strong support networks within the school. And so it's important to understand if your position within the school is that you have a strong support network of teachers or a weak support network of teachers. 